A close friend of mine rang me while I was in New York and she's a single mother with three kids and she had to declare herself homeless and um, like as in officially declare it um, and move back. She was lucky she could move in with her parents but it was her and her three kids in one room. She had to be there for 10 months after that um, and I remember at the time just having this huge moment of like the world shouldn't be like this that I have a friend who has three children and can't find a home for herself and um, when the system is kind of all broken. And then I'm in New York kind of trying to be discovered as this actress, you know, on some level. And I don't know, there was something going on there that it just was like my desire for things to be better for her made me go like, it's like I wanted, every, I wanted to step outside my own usual track and I wanted her to step out, off hers and be able to like change it. And I remember just getting it in a flash. It was literally like a flash. It was like woman, steps outside of the, the system uh, and puts her hands on some bricks. Like it was all kind of images, it kind of came really fast. It was like woman builds a house for herself and by helping herself, people come to her and help her. So it was like a magnetic thing and a community forms around her. So when we meet Sandra, we see, see her in a very sheltered state, in a very kind of like, closed off from the world and it's lovely to play a character when you know everything that's in her past and inside of her and let that slightly come out through the the journey of getting to know her and um, i think she loves her children so much i think that's kind of the her it's what makes her that what's it's what brings out the best in her is her children it's that love that's her engine when she has no love left for herself, if you know what I mean. She's already been broken down and just absolutely ground down, down by Gary over the years. And it's her children that not only inspire her for some new ideas, but they're the reason, they're the reason she stayed and they're the reason she left, you know? So, it, so they help her kind of get over herself, but also get behind herself. It was kind of amazing to play Sandra because A, I didn't expect to, um, and B, uh, I got to write her so I kind of knew who she was, like I really knew who she was. Um, I only got to play her because Philida Lloyd came on board to direct and said that she wanted me to play the lead um, because we were, we'd worked together in theatre. Um, so it was a big game changer. And then, and then it meant as well that every line I was writing for her I wasn't worried about because I'd know how to deliver it and I wouldn't. <laughs> I just wouldn't worry about it too much, and you know. Um, but it was something about being on set as Sandra, and if I was asked to improvise doing anything, I just knew who she was. Like I knew how she moved, I knew where, what what she looks for. I know, I just know what makes her tick. Like so, that that helped incredibly as an actor, I suppose. Working with Phyllis on set was incredible because we had an incredibly like close relationship already. We'd worked together in theatre and then she also was like part of the drafts, like you know, when we were working on the script and going through drafts and all that kind of thing, she she intimately knew uh, what this story meant to me and every bit of research I'd done for it and how much I knew Sandra. So working with her on set was like, we became almost like symbiotically just connected in our brains a little bit, you know, it was kind of, it was kind of incredible because she she just would listen to anything that I, I could feed back to her, which is a huge luxury, like huge luxury to be the writer and then the actor at the center or something and have your director be on the same level as you and not suddenly go, you know, we're separate now or I can't ask you any more questions. It was always so collaborative. Okay, so the thing about researching like homelessness and social issues with this uh, project was after reading a lot of books um, and researching a lot online, it was the people that I met that really taught me something. I met incredible people. I met a, a, a famous lecturer of economics called Patrick Kirby who lives in an eco village called Clock Jordan and I went down there and I experienced a whole world of people that are literally 
people who are the solution to most of the climate change problems, the housing crisis problems. They're doing everything with solar power, doing everything with like natural resources and from the land and only using locally sourced food. Padder taught me a lot about um, social consciousness and what it means to actually wake up to what, it, to what equality could be, like what could really solve social problems. I remember when I told him about my moment of uh, getting the idea for the film, I said it was probably the most insane moment of my life because I decided to change everything after that and write this story. And he said, no, that was the most sane moment of your life. If you want to see a story about somebody who actually is changing their own life, and deciding to become a hero for themselves. And um, you should go see this. If you want some sort of hope or a kind of reminder that people can be redeemed, this is a film to watch. I want to build a house. Sandra Niwa, Yenga Shiziodata. Sorry, guys. Play three times and you got your kids here. Please, I need this job. Yeah, wow. What are we doing, Sandra? I think this is good for the girls. I want to fix it, you know? Some people, you just can't. You need very, very few skills to be involved with a team that'll build a house. Why didn't you ask me? It's land, Sandra, going to waste. Use it. Build a house for you and your girls. Possible. Yeah. I think you had to give us a hand. See? You are not taking my kids! All right. The world will change. What is the point of a house if I have no kids to put in? This place is there. There, there's Sandra. Sandra's small house.